Hello students hope you are well and working hard to achieve your goals so today we will start our next chapter chapter 4 forms of business organization the learning objectives of this chapter are to understand the concept of business undertakings its meaning and characteristics types of business undertakings difference between public sector private sector and the joint sector enterprises types or forms of private enterprises choice of the forms of organization suitability of different forms of organization factors to be considered for starting a business undertaking and last public private partnership so today we will discuss the concept of business undertakings its meaning and characteristics types of business undertakings difference between public private and the joint sector enterprises and types or forms of private enterprises first of all we will discuss key terms so first one is private sector for example retail shops like food hospitality shoes or clothes likewise reliance industries infosys itc hul banks like icici bank hdfc these are all the examples of private sectors means the ownership and the management is in the hands of private individuals next is public sector for example railways oil and natural gas corporation steel authority of india limited bharat heavy electricals limited coal india limited etc these are all the examples of public sector means a state owned enterprise is called public sector undertaking next is joint sector undertaking for example maruti udyog limited that is jointly in the hands of india go indian government and the japan's suzuki motor corporation means the corporation that is jointly owned by the government and the private individuals are called joint sector and other examples are like avantika gas limited mahanagar gas limited indian synthetic rubber limited these are all the examples of joint sector so our first concept is business undertaking means any business that is run to earn profit is called business undertaking so we can say that a business enterprise is an institutional arrangement for undertaking any business activity each and every business enterprise is a separate and distinct unit business may be owned and controlled by the single or a number of individuals so hope you are clear with the meaning so next we will discuss the characteristics so first characteristic is separate entity a business undertaking has a separate entity from its owner it is generally known by its own name own and a distinct name from its owner next is independent unit of ownership it is owned by the persons who have contributed capital to carry on the business so ownership or the owners may be a private individuals or the government so in case if the capital of the business is contributed by the private individuals it is called private sector undertaking whereas if the capital is contributed by the government then it is called as public sector undertaking next is independent unit of management every business undertaking has its own independent management and the management is depends upon the nature size and the legal requirements of the public particular undertaking next is independent unit of risk as every business undertaking is an independent unit of risk the risk of an undertaking is borne by its owners and some of the risks may be covered by insurance so these are the characteristics of business undertakings first one is separate entity second independent unit of ownership third independent unit of management and fourth one is independent unit of risk next is types of business undertakings first one is private sector undertakings for example reliance industries public sector undertakings that are railways that are controlled by the that are controlled or owned by the government next is joint sector undertakings 
means maruti udyog limited that is jointly owned by the government and the private individuals so now we will discuss in detail so first one is private sector undertakings means those undertakings which are established managed and controlled by individuals that are singly or jointly these are called private sector undertakings there is a no state participation means government has a no control on the activities of these types of business is called private sector undertaking so the characteristics are is it is owned by the private individuals it is managed by the owners its main objective is to earn profit by selling their products and services it is accountable for results to the owners then its financial resources are limited and there is no state or government participation these are the characteristics of private sector undertakings next one is public sector undertakings for example railways that are controlled by the government and likewise oil and natural gas steel authority of india limited these are some examples that are owned or controlled managed by the government it means state ownership and operation of industrial agricultural financial and the commercial undertakings these are called public sector undertakings so its characteristics are the capital is contributed by the government and the management and control is in the hands of government its main objective is to public welfare and not the earning profits it is accountable to the public means its working or its operations are accountable to the public next one is mixed and joint sector enterprises for example maruti udyog limited cochin refineries these are some examples of mixed or joint sector enterprises so it means mixed or joint sector enterprises a consist of those undertakings wherein the ownership management and control are shared jointly by the government private enterprises and the public so these are called joint sector undertakings so its characteristics are capital is provided by the government and the private sector enterprises it combines both service and the profit objectives means public welfare and to earn profits is the main objective of these types of undertakings next management and control is in hands of government private businessmen and the public it is responsible to the government and the private enterprises who are the owners of these enterprises so these are some characteristics of joint undertakings joint sector undertakings so next so next our topic is difference between private sector enterprises public sector enterprises and the joint sector enterprises so first one is establishment means private sector enterprises is established by individuals public sector enterprises is established by government and mixed sector is established by government and individuals second our difference is ownership so private sector enterprises is owned by private individuals public sector is owned by central or state government but joint sector is owned by both that is private individuals and government next our difference is based upon management so private sector enterprises is managed by the professional managers or the owners but public sector enterprises is managed by the government and joint sector enterprises are managed by the both that is private individuals and the government so fourth one is purpose private sector enterprises has the motive to earn profits but public sector enterprises has to promote public welfare and joint sector enterprises has the both that is profit motive and the public welfare motive next the difference is accountability so private sector is accountable to the owners of the business public sector is accountable to the parliament and the public and joint sector is accountable to the both that is private entrepreneurs and the public 
Next is social objective. So in the private sector, social objectives are not very important. But in the public sector, its prime primary motive is to achieve social objectives like provision of employment and equitable distribution of wealth. But in the joint sector, it may have some social objectives. Next our last difference is based upon scope. So in the private sector, its business scope is mostly limited. But in public sector, its business scope is generally wide because it includes the participation of government. So in the joint sector, its business scope is widest because it involves both the private sector and the public sector. That is why its scope is widest. So next is types of private enterprises. These are of two types, non-cooperated and cooperated. Non-cooperated are further of three types, sole trader, joint Hindu family business and partnership. Cooperated are of two types, cooperative societies and joint stock company. So first one we will discuss is sole trader. For example, sole trader like general stores, stationery shops, bakeries, small factories that are the examples that are included in the sole trade business. So sole trader is a person who carries business only for himself. He provides capital and management for the business and he is entitled to the entire profits of the business and that business is called sole trader. Next is partnership. For example, chartered accountancy firms, architect firms, wholesale business. These are some examples of partnership. So partnership means it where two or more persons enter into the agreement to run a business and share its profits. And these are called partnership firms. So maximum number of members is 10 in case of banking company and 20 in case of other types of business that are occur in the market. Next, Next is joint Hindu family business. Like Tata Sons Private Limited, Mahindra and Mahindra Limited are some examples of joint Hindu family business. Means the business of the Hindu is inherited by his hires under the Hindu law. Is called joint Hindu family business. Such a business where the head of the family called Karta manage the affairs of the business is called joint Hindu family business. So next our type is cooperated enterprises. So first one is cooperative societies. For example, Amul. Consider one of the largest cooperative society of India. Likewise, others cooperative bank. So it means some people for their own common benefit and cooperation make cooperative society. The main objective is to provide services to its members and it is registered under the Cooperative Society Act 1912 and these societies is called Cooperative Societies. Next is, next is Joint Stock Company like Reliance Industries, Tata Motors, Indian Oil Corporation. These are the examples of Joint Stock Company. So we can say that a business which requires more capital is established under Joint Stock Company form of organization. So these are of two types, private companies and public companies. So a private company is required to have minimum 2 and maximum 50 members to form a private companies and public company must have maximum 7 members and there is no maximum limit of members in a public company. So this is all about today's topic. So now you have to write the question answers that is first one is what do you mean by business enterprise? What are its forms? Then distinguish between public, private and joint sector undertakings. Third one is explain the types of private enterprises. So go through the various links on a YouTube so that you can write these answers properly.